Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to create a quiz app using React, the JavaScript framework. So hope you're excited and let's just get started by opening up our Visual Studio Code editor, or at least I'm using Visual Studio Code. And within here, we're going to open up a terminal using control tilde or command tilde. I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, then use command control tilde or just open up your terminal going up to file and then terminal. Now from here, I'm going to npx create dash react dash app and dot because I'm going to create it within this folder. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how the application actually works. So let me just make this larger. And that's basically it. We're going to have a application. Then when it's starting, I'm going to ask you three questions. And if you complete them successfully, then you're going to get a result with successful completion. So let's start out with the very first one. What is the capital of France? It's Paris. What is the greatest pa what is the largest planet in our solar system? Well, it's Jupiter. What is React? It is a Power Ranger. No, it is a JavaScript framework. So congratulations, you just answered everything correctly. If you would not answer everything correctly, let's just, just reload the application. Then let's just click through here. You won't get that result. It also is going to tell you how many questions you answered correctly. It's not going to tell you which one you answered correctly. I'm going to reserve a more complex application for my React projects course, the 30 projects course that is out. And also I'm almost done editing the React course. It's going to come out, I hope this month. Yeah, I think at the end of the month. So stay subscribed, like this video. Also click that notification bell in order to get notified when I'm releasing new videos and also releasing that course because I'm going to attach some coupon codes with the lowest price possible. Okay, so I hope React just install. Yep, everything is up and running. So I could just start the application. So let's type in npm and start in order to start our application. So I'm going to do here a refresh because because that was the presentation projects. So let's open up our localhost 3000. And there we go, here is our current project. So let's go into source, let's go into app. Also, please download and copy paste the CSS. Go into app CSS and paste it in here. Okay, so everything is going to break because this is the CSS that you're going to use for, for this application. Now, the CSS you can find down in the description below, download it. It's always on my blog and also the entire code is on my blog post. As soon as this video is out, also the blog post will be out as always, of course. Okay, we're done with our app.css. We can actually close it up and now let's go into app.js. And from here, I'm going to delete everything that is in the class of app and replace this class of app, first of all, with a quiz dash and lowercase app. Okay, and also I'm going to pack everything into a fragment. So let's create here a empty fragment and move this div up into the fragment. You can use options and arrow up. And before the div, I'm going to create an H1. Also, again, if this if Emmet is not working for you, then just click down here on JavaScript and type in JavaScript rec and using multiple co coding languages and I'm always switching between them. Okay, now let's type in H1. And just give this a title of React Quiz App. And there we go, it should appear, already appear here. Well, first things first, I'm going to style the app. So I'm going to go into React Quiz App or create the layout. Let's go into Quiz App. And from here, I'm just going to create a new fragment. And this fragment is going to host the question section. So as you saw in the finish application, there was a section which was packed with the questions. Now let's create a div with a class of questions section and within here we're going to create another div with question count it's going to display for us the on which question we are currently and let's just create here a span tag and typing question and let's just type in zero from now for now and slash free i'm going to replace this with dynamic code just in a couple of minutes but first i want to create the entire layout after the div of question count, I'm going to create another one, which will be question text. So let's type in question dash text. This is where the question itself will live. So let's just uh, type in here question for now. I'm going to replace this just in a couple of seconds. Now after this div, 
I'm going to move outside the question section and I'm going to create a, another div with a class of answer section and just type in here answer. Okay. Now let's populate this with some dynamic code. For this, we're going to go first of all up here and I'm going to import use state from React. Let's use here the state hook so from React. And then we're going to go after our application and create a state for score. So we're going to this structure here const and score and then comma set score and we're going to assign it to the use state hook and we're going to pass in here within parentheses the score of zero. Next we're going to create the show score state so const and this structure here show score and then set show score. Okay let's assign this also to use state and we're going to set this to false. Next we're going to create a show text const and show text and now we need the setter which is set show and text and we're going to assign this to use state again and we're going to set this always to false. Let me also drag down the console here. We don't need it. Now for the questions, let's create the very last state, which will be for the question. So current question and set current question, because we have, we will have here the current question that is displayed and we're going to select it from a array, actually a array of objects of questions. Now for this to happen, we also need to have a state in which state is each question. So let's create here the setter and we're going to assign this to use state and let's pass in for the start the state of zero. Now for our database, I'm not going to create a separate database. I'm going to just go outside the application and create a const with questions and assign it to an array of objects. And the very first object we're going to to have three questions you want to create more then please feel free to do so object or each object will have a question a option for the answers and the correct answer so we're going to have multiple key value pairs now i'm not going to type out all of them just going to copy and paste them in and as, as you already heard it the code is down in the description below so please copy and paste them down because typing out this is just a waste of time for me and also for you you're going to learn React not typing out questions, typing out, creating simple objects. That's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is to create the entire thing. So question, here's the question. There are key and value pairs, as you can see. The option is actually a key with a value of an array. We're going to have, and this array is going to have multiple strings. And then the last key, which is going to have the correct answer, which is one of these strings from the array, from the options. Now we have our questions. The question has multiple objects. Now we can select those and let's go down here and start selecting. First of all, let's start replacing the span of question. Uh, we're going to leave question in here, but I'm going to replace it with curly brackets and pass in here the current question. And as you can see up here, the state of current questions at the moment zero. So I could just add to it, type question correctly, missing here U, just add to it a plus one. So that's it save. So there you go, we got the current question one, because we're at the first question, and we're going to divide this span with the questions. So now we're selecting our database and dot length, because we have a database of why don't I have my divided? There we go. Because we have a array of free objects. So one, two, three, the array's length is free. So with, we're at the first question and we are going to display the total length of the array, which is free. Next, we have our question stacks. So what is the question? So for this, we're going to select 
from our database of questions, so let's replace this question with open and close curly brackets. We're going to select the database, so questions, and we're going to select, now we have access to the entire thing. So we're going to select the array of current question, which is the state, and we can add, because we have access to the entire thing now, and we can add to this the property of question. And because we are at the very first one, it's going to display the very first question. Now for the answers, and to replace the answer now with, again, the database, so questions, the array of, we're going to pass in the state of current question, and then the options, because we have in our database options, and now we have access to these options, which is a array. Now we can loop over this array using the math method, so dot map, and we're going to pass in here arrow function, and we're going to loop over each option, Let's scroll down a bit, and for each option we're going to create, well, a button, because a button can have click events, but actually I can add click event, a click event to everything, but I'm going to use here buttons. So open and close parentheses, I'm going to create here a button. And this button is going to have, first of all, a class name of answer-button. Then I'm going to give the key of option. And then I'm going to pass in here, or assign it, the onClick event. And we're not going to create a separate event handler, because the event handler is pretty simple. We're just going to pass in an anonymous error function, which is going to handle answer-option-click. And this is now going to await for a option. And now in the button, in the button itself, we're going to display the option. Okay, so let's hit save. And now we need to add to our function, functionality. So let's go to our, and now let's populate the handle answer option click. So let's go up here before our return and after our states. And let's create here const. Handle option, I'm going to assign this to an error function, and this is going to take in a selected answer as an argument, and then it's going to check that if the selected answer that will be passed in here is equal to the question, to the question's current question dot correct answer, then it's going to set the score, why am I doing it, not core, but score. So I mistyped here, set score, let me just correct this, score. Then it's going to change the value of the state of score by taking in the initial value of score and adding to it plus one. Now we're not done yet because on a click, as you can see here, if I'm clicking now on Paris, it should send me so first of all, you should recognize, okay, he just selected a answer, but now it should send me to the next correct answer. So after I'm selecting an answer, it should send me to the next question. So remaining within our handler here, we're going to create here a const of next question. This will be equal to the current question plus one. Now, if, and I am going to create here now an if statement, the next question is less than the questions dot length. And what am I doing here? This shouldn't be in curly brackets, this shouldn't be in parentheses, then curly brackets. So let me start from the start. Next question. So if the next question is less than the questions dot length, then we're going to set the current question to the next question. Nest, no, next. What am I doing? Next question, next question. So I think I mistyped next question a couple of times and replace here. Okay, now else, so if this is not true, then we're going to set the show score to true because we're finished actually with our questions. Now for the correct answer variant, but because if we're done, then we need to have some kind of verification that we also answered correctly. So for this, I'm going to select the score, and if the score will be equal to questions 
dot length but minus one then i'm going to set show text to true so let's try this out first of all let's try out if our questions are going forward so paris mars javascript okay we're done but the very last one is not showing anything because we're missing here the answer so let's go down in our return and right after this h1 and also after the the div or quiz app we're going to go into the div or quiz app but before this fragment we're going to now ask here the question between curly brackets that is show score true then display me a div with a class of so class with a class name of score section i'm just going to type in for now score and else i'm going to go after my parentheses here column and go down and now i'm going to take the fragment close it up and move it in here okay so if this if the application is done then it's going to show me score you can see it's always showing me score now now let's do a refresh of the page and we're going to restart so let's do paris mars javascript and there we go score now it's not showing me the score because the score we still need to pop the actual score we still need to populate it in here so let's take care of this we're going to instead of score just going to go down here and type in your score or you scored not your score you you scored and now we're going to pass in here dynamically the state of score because you do have the score now so let's pass in score and what is the score how we can how can we relate to the score well by taking our out of and the questions dot length also questions dot length so we can we need to relate to something and that will be how many correct answers we scored from the total questions are free and we just scored two now we're still not done because after we set our score we also want to congratulate our contendent here so we're going to show text but we're only going to show the text if it's true so if the text is true then I'm going to pass in here an h4 also close up the h4 with congratulations you got all the answers correct okay let's hit save and as you can see the only difference is this is not displaying because we did not get all of the answers correct so let's do a refresh of the application and let's say what is the capital of france paris what is the largest planet in the solar system jupiter what is javascript what is react it is a javascript framework and now our text appears okay congratulations hope you enjoyed this project if you did give it a like subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell in order to get notified whenever i post new videos like this also if you want to support me then check out my courses they're down in the description below on my website you can find blogs videos courses everything that you want on my website which is down in the description below and with this being said thank you for watching have a lovely day and catch you next time bye bye